If you crave the unknown, but fear the dark, then Delphi, after dawn, is your sanctuary. As the first light of dawn breaks through the night, we embark on a journey into the mysteries that chill the spine. I'm your host, Jason King, and together we'll explore the stories that lurk in the shadows. Each episode, we unravel chilling tales of unsolved crimes, police corruption, and heart-wrenching disappearances. Imagine a world where over 600,000 people vanished last year alone in the U.S., leaving behind only questions and heartache. Violent crime is on the rise, and the shadows grow longer each day. By joining us, you become a beacon for the voiceless, a light in the darkness. Together, we'll shine a light on society's darkest corners, uncovering the truths that hide in plain sight. From the eerie silence of abandoned buildings to the bustling streets where secrets are whispered, we leave no stone unturned. Tune in to Delphi After Dawn, where understanding is just a story away. Join us and let the journey begin. As we delve deeper, remember that every story has a heartbeat, a pulse that connects us all. We navigate through the labyrinth of human experience, seeking answers and shedding light on the unknown. So prepare yourself for a journey like no other where every revelation brings us closer to the truth. Delphi. After Dawn is more than just a podcast. It's a community of seekers, united by curiosity and compassion. Together, we can make a difference, one story at a time. Join us and let the journey begin anew. Welcome to Delphi After Dawn. I am your host, Jason King. Today, I will be talking about corruption, sex, and lies in small town Kentucky. Because the Kentucky sheriff found out the judge was sexually abusing his 17-year-old daughter. The judge told her if she didn't perform certain acts with him, he would fire her dad and fire her. She had been working at the courthouse because she wanted to go to law school and become a lawyer and eventually become a judge. The judge was mentoring her and he was blackmailing her into performing certain acts with him, telling her if she didn't do it, he would fire her dad and fire her and she would never become a lawyer or a judge in that town. When the sheriff's daughter started acting out her dad took her to see a therapist well she opened up to the therapist and told her everything but instead of the therapist going to the authorities and reporting the abuse she told her to just write everything down in a journal and take notes well that is what she started doing she didn't think her dad the sheriff would find her journal, but he did find it. And when he read what was in it, he snapped. He loaded up his gun, went to the courthouse, walked into the judge's chambers. And when he went through the judge's phone and found his daughter's phone number in the judge's phone, he pulled his gun and put eight rounds into the judge. The Kentucky sheriff knew the town judge would not face any punishment for his actions So what did he do? He did what any good, loving father would do. He took action and got his daughter justice the old-fashioned way. Sometimes in life, a man has got to do what a man has got to do to protect his family. And that is exactly what this Kentucky sheriff did. The sheriff was arrested and charged with murder. But the town was divided. Some saw him as a hero, while others saw him as a criminal. The community rallied around the sheriff. 
showing their support for his actions. Despite being behind bars, the sheriff remained a symbol of justice for many in the town. This story is a stark reminder of the lengths a parent will go to protect their child and the complexities of justice in a small town. As the town moves forward, the legacy of the Kentucky Sheriff's actions will continue to be a topic of debate and reflection. In the heart of the courtroom, tensions reached a boiling point. The sheriff, with a steely gaze, stood his ground, while the judge, unwavering, met his stare. Voices rose, echoing through the halls, as the weight of justice hung in the balance. It was a moment where principles clashed, and neither side was willing to back down. The air was thick with anticipation as everyone present knew that this confrontation would leave a lasting mark. The dust settled and the echoes of the confrontation slowly faded away. The courtroom, now silent, bore witness to the consequences of that intense exchange. The sheriff, reflecting on his actions, understood the gravity of what had transpired. The judge, too, pondered the kin implications, knowing the path forward would be fraught with challenges. In the end, both men realized that their shared commitment to justice would be the guiding light through the trials ahead. And so the community, having witnessed this pivotal moment, began to heal and move forward, forever changed by the events that had unfolded. The sheriff has not yet gone to trial. Only time will tell the end and result.